Well, what's up guys? It's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity build a video and today I'm going to talk to you guys about epic projects. A couple of things here. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because two of the videos that I had up about epic projects had some technical difficulties and they're not being monetized and, and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and redo them, but I'm actually going to combine the two topics into one video. So if you're wondering why you uh, don't have an epic project available or whatever, uh, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button, sit down and watch the video. So everything pretty much that you need to know about epic projects is going to be covered in this video. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and go through each one of the categories and show you guys what epic pointers are the best to buy for the category that you're in. Now, please keep in mind that this is not limited time stuff included. I'm only going to be doing the main um, buildings. I will, however, if I see one that's pretty popular, I will go ahead and uh, make a point to acknowledge it. But I just want to go ahead and cover whatever the, uh, the main category is. Okay, so what is an epic project? How does it work? Like I said, in brief, basically what it is, is it's a regular residential home that's been upgraded to its maximum upgrade. Okay, so pay very close attention. That includes on regional maps, the only homes that you can convert into an epic project are regular residentials, and they have to be at a maximum upgrade. Okay, now, once you have a home that is at a maximum upgrade, what you will do is you will see this little hat here, okay? Now, if you read your menus, and that's always something that I've told people to do uh, in the tips and tricks videos, and I'm just, a, I advocate for always read your menus, okay? What this does is each category here, uh, transportation, beach, landmarks, gambling, mountain, entertainment, and, and uh, nope, that covers it. So entertainment, mountain, education, gambling, transportation, landmarks, and beach. Those categories can be converted into epic projects. Each one of those categories gives a different style home. So what I tell people to do, and this is rule number one when it comes to epic projects, do not make the mistake that I made. And that is pick the epic style that you like the look of. Do not do epic projects solely based on what pointers you have, okay? Because here's what's going to happen. When you start this epic project, you have, a tw you have 24 hours to complete it. You're going to donate items that you have that it asks for in exchange for points. Those points are going to add up and you're going to reach certain levels of this this epic project there's bronze silver and gold okay gold is a times 12 token what you what you do is you go to your shop and you start a token that runs for a total of 60 minutes and it speeds up the time it takes to make items this is super beneficial when it comes to making coin and when it comes to getting those contest of mayor's assignments done on time now what these projects do is you donate items and you get these speed tokens that pop up on top of your homes. They are not full tokens, they are pieces. So what happens is every 24 hours, you're gonna get a piece of a speed up token, okay? You're gonna collect X amount of pieces and then it's, gonna com it's going to complete one token. Now, what happens is once you've completed um, your Epic project, if you've hit gold, then you can collect the token right away. If you're going for bronze and silver, you have to wait out the timer, okay? It doesn't allow you to just hit transform. Once the home has been completed, you cannot redo that house and try to go for a better tier. You either bulldoze it or you build up another home and make it into something. You also cannot convert an epic project with a home that has a clip tray on it. Now in the past, you used to be able to transfer your clipboards to another building. And that way 
you were able to convert the, the home to an epic. Now they don't allow you to do that. So you're forced to complete the clip tray before you're allowed to bulldoze the building or convert it to an epic project, which is super annoying. But here's what's going to happen. When you pick the category that you like the look of, so what you can do is you can go on our, um, our Facebook group, SimCity Build It, Missy Ann YT, join our club, and in the announcements section, there are pictures that show uh, the daytime and the nighttime version of each epic based on the category that it's in. So that's the best way you're gonna be able to view and see what type of epic homes you like. It also has the regional epics as well because they're, they've recently added uh, regional epics. Now, another option, if you're not a member of our club and you do not have Facebook, what you can do or Facebook group, I mean, what you can do is go to Google and type in uh, SimCity Build It Epics Project poster. Now, the, the pictures are really tiny, so you'll have to zoom in, but that shows each category and which style home it has. These ones along the back here, uh, this one here, this is a gambling epic. Now, how do you know which one it is? Well, when you click on it, you see this little tiny gold symbol there on the left bottom corner. That is the specialization symbol. It symbolizes which category that epic project belongs to. So you just match that up with the icon in your menu and it will tell you, you know, which one it belongs to. Now, the next thing here is the way that you add up your tokens. So notice how I was able to collect the silver one. It's because I don't have 35 tokens. Once you hit 35, you will not be able to collect them off the top of your houses anymore. That's the capacity. However, if you are winning tokens, let's say through a mayor's pass or whatever, the game allows you to exceed 35 tokens. So that's why I always tell people, do not uh, collect your so your gold tokens from the past until you absolutely have to. That way you can make sure that you can collect all of your other uh, tokens off the top of your houses without them just sitting there. They do not stack up. So the way that it works is let's say you collected your token at 3 p.m. the day before. At 3 p.m. the next day, your token will be available. There's no timer on top of the, the Epic House or in any menu of any kind that shows when that token's gonna be available. Now, if you, let's say, you normally collect them at 3 p.m. and you come back at 6 p.m., you don't get any time towards that next token. It The new time is now 6 p.m. So it's from whatever time you collect it, it starts that 24 hour timer over again, okay? All right, now, the next thing. Here's a little tip. What a lot of people will do is they pick the category that they like, all right? So let's say that you've decided you like the mountain category. That's the only category that's actually really short, but you've decided that's the category you like. But when you click on this, you don't have mountain as your category. It says entertainment. So you click change. Now, what's the best way to ensure that you're gonna get the mountain category to pop up? you got to make sure that you have coverage for whatever category that you are trying to do. So what people will often ask me is, well, how close to the mountainside do I have to have my building for it to initiate? Well, it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the category, so the, the coverage. So when you click on, let's say, the mountain category right here, see how this area here does not have any kind of coverage. I could put that building as close to the mountainside as possible and it will not give me mountain unless I fall within the, the green category. So make sure that you have coverage. That is basically how it works, right? So let's say that I put the home down here, it's gonna give me mountain before it does it over here. It's not gonna do it over here because I don't have coverage here. 
right? So just make sure that whatever category you're going for falls in that green coverage zone. Now, the next thing is maybe you have multiple categories in that zone and it keeps cycling through and it takes like five, six times or, or you know, four or five times to uh, get the, the category that you desire. Now, what a lot of people will tell you to do is to store all the other categories and uh, go about it like that. So store them all and then hit change. But there's actually a better way. And what you can do is you can pick up the house that you're trying to do the epic on and take it away from the other categories and then place a coverage zone down for the category that you desire and then hit change. That way you don't have to put, you know, 30 buildings in storage and go through each category. You just simply pick up the, the home you want and the category you want, place it far away, hit change, and then you can put it back. And this, it saves you a lot of time, believe me. Now, the next thing is there's two main questions that people ask, and that is how many token pieces does it take to complete the speed tokens? And um, how much does it cost to start and how does that work? So what happens is when you start your Epic project, uh, it costs 1,000, okay, for the first time when you have that, that category. Uh, every time you do an Epic project in that category, it's going to raise the cost, okay? So it may, let's say for instance, that I wanted to start a mountain Epic. I have so many mountain Epics on this map that it's gonna want like 87,000 just to start it. Whereas if I did like transportation, it's gonna be much cheaper because I don't have any in that category really. Now, how many people uh, pick the Epic project that they wanna do based on the buildings that they have uh, Epic pointers for and the, um, the cost? Don't do that. Okay, it's not worth it. You're gonna be stuck with this building forever because you're not gonna want to bulldoze it. And it's just not worth it. Now, if you're a lower level player below level 43, 100% of your guys' epics should be converted to gold. Now, epics are not difficult, okay? They are super easy. You can get them done super fast if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, they are a nightmare, okay? I have no doubt in my mind that each and every one of you guys can hit gold epics in 20 minutes or less if you follow my tips. And that is for any player, you know, as long as you have the storage capacity. If you're somebody who's like level 43 and up and have like 200 storage, then you're gonna need a lot of coin and, and assistance to find the items that you need. So it's gonna take a little longer. But if you prep right and you follow the, the tips that I give you, there is no doubt in my mind that you won't be able to hit gold in 20 minutes or less, okay? All right, so let's go through these epic pointers and uh, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys which ones are the best based on the category that you choose. Make sure that, like I said, make sure you pick the category that you like the look of. I cannot stress that enough. What ended up happening to me, if you guys click on my YouTube channel and you click videos, if you click filter, and then go to uh, like the first one posted, like the oldest video. The very first video I posted was about two minutes long. And I scroll through and I show you guys what my city used to look like. If you look at the back wall of my city, it was almost all landmark uh, gold epics. Now, I had bulldozed them all because I, I had had them for three, four years. And I was so tired of... Uh, looking at them and, and being unhappy with my map that I had to take that, that, uh, I had to bite the bullet on that one. You know what I'm saying? Like take that loss. I, it took me a long time to finally say, you know what? It's just coins. I can make it back. I would rather be satisfied with my city than, uh, just keep it because they're there. And so, like I said, it was, it was very painful to do that, uh, to, to bulldoze everything but that's my point if you're not happy with your city 
and you're somebody who, like me who really cares about the design of your city, you don't want to be stuck with all this this stuff that you don't like the look of simply because you had pointers for it, okay? Okay, so what is an epic pointer? When you start an epic project, you pay the amount, and then what happens is for the category that you chose, let's say you picked, uh, let's say you picked beach, okay? All of these items in front of the beach are gonna have little bubbles that pop up, and they're gonna have numbers on the bubbles, one through five. Now, most of them are one through three, okay? And then you have some fours, and then if you don't have regionals unlocked or any hotspots, you won't have anything higher than a four. Now, what you wanna go for is the threes and fours. You wanna put all of the ones and twos in storage. Now, what happens is people have, um, they have this, this situation where they have a bunch of ones and twos, but they don't put them in storage. You're only allowed X amount of bubbles to be active at any one time. Now they keep changing it. It used to be eight, then it was 10. Now it's, it just depends, you know? Uh, it also depends on how quickly those bubbles pop up. But you do not want to have the ones and twos out. They are a waste to donate to. Once they are out, they cannot be put back until donated to. So let's say you have a, a one pointer out and you want to get it put in storage. You will not be able to do that until you you submit the items it's asking for, and then you store it before it asks for another item. That's the only way to do it, okay? Otherwise, you'd have to bulldoze the building. Now, what you want to do, <coughs> like I said, before you start your Epic project, you want to put any of the ones and twos in storage, okay? Once you hit level 24, you're going to be... Um, you're going to open up a part of your menu that says epic points. Now, for those of you who are not level 24, you do not have this on your screen. So it's very difficult for you guys to plan on like, okay, which buildings should I buy? Like, let's say you're trying to pre-plan like, okay, I'm level 18 and I know I'm going to want to do mountain epic or not mountain. Let's say it's a uh, transportation. You know, you're going to want to do transportation epics. And you're like, well, I want to start buying buildings now, uh, but you don't know which ones because you you don't have the menu. That's why I'm gonna I'm gonna go through it with you guys, okay? So uh, certain categories don't become available until you reach a certain level. So you're not gonna be able to do landmark until level 30. So keep that in mind. So you have transportation, education, mountain, and You've got beach, and then I th think gambling doesn't unlock until level 25, or maybe it's entertainment. I can't remember which. Um, but either way, you, you're limited to a couple of categories here. But most of the popular ones you guys have unlocked. Okay, so you've decided that you've decided what category you like and you've decided that you want to try your first epic. Which building should you buy and why? And I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys, if you are buying buildings, uh, you know, prematurely or whatever, try to not do that unless it's a limited time thing because, or like a sale, you know, like if they put a category on sale, because you can buy these at any time. There's no sense in jumping the gun right now and, and going and burning through all your keys because if something comes along, let's say for a deal, or like I said, goes on sale, you could have purchased them for much cheaper. So always be sure to uh, hold off on any final purchases for categories when it's something that's here all the time, okay? All right, that's the next thing. If you wanna be successful at Epic Projects, you need to have a certain number of these pointers. 10 three-pointers is the lowest you should attempt to make to do gold can you complete gold with one one pointer yeah but it's going to be absolutely miserable and it's going to cost an obscene amount okay so when people say can you it yes you can but not comfortably i mean we're talking you're going to take 23 plus hours 
and it's going to cost 20, you know, 20 times the amount of money that it would cost if you had more pointers. So the ones and twos are totally garbage. If you're at the last 10, maybe 20 points of your Epic project and you're stuck and it's asking for a lot of really expensive items, you can place those out in an attempt to get those last couple of points, but otherwise leave them in your, your storage, okay? All right, so let's see here. Education. You're gonna purchase the Department of Education. You can put this in storage. It's only worth one Epic point. It's totally garbage. Now, the problem with education is you have to purchase a bunch of these before you can purchase the main ones. Now, it's gonna say in order to have the grade school that you have to have the Department of Education and in order to have the public library, you have to have, or no. Okay, so in order to have the high school, you have to have the library community college wants the high school and so forth okay so these three here are the main ones that you're going to be looking at if you're below level 30. this here i believe is 27 uh, gold keys it's quite large and you know oddly shapen so it's not realistically the best option in, in terms of space but it is a three-pointer, and it's probably going to be one of the, the ones that you, uh, you buy. <clears throat> I'm going to go to a map with some space here so I can show you guys some stuff. Okay, so let's see here. All right, this next one here, this one costs cash. 380 cash. It's a three-pointer, and it's a 50% pop boost. As you can see, it is, it's that weird shape, you know, so it's going to be a little difficult to place in certain areas. Uh, by difficult to place, I mean, see how you normally have, like, two wide, and it makes it easier to place, you know, one in this area. Now you have this this space here where you've got one space between the building and the road, and it's just annoying to have to deal with. Okay, this here is really large, oddly shapen. It costs platinum keys, but it's super cheap, you know? It costs like, I think it's 11 platinum keys. 10, okay, so it's 10. Uh, it's a three-pointer. It, <laughs> If you have a big map, it's a it's an okay purchase. Personally, if you especially if you're somebody who has a difficult time obtaining platinum keys, I would not go with this option. Simply for the fact that it costs platinum keys and the shape of it is is ridiculous. Uh, now, if you are level 30 or higher and you're able to unlock the Omega University, absolutely yes. This is a definite. This is a four pointer, okay? And if I remember right, let me go ahead and place these down just to be sure on the price. Uh, I bought a bunch of these when it went on sale Black Friday for the pop boost because I was trying to unlock my, my regional map. That's the other thing, you guys, man. Uh, regional epics. If you have regionals, you, man, you, you have a, an epic prep of hell. Okay, so it's 40 platinum keys. This is an excellent price for a four-pointer. When you go to like the beach or the mountain category to get four-pointers, they're super expensive as compared to the education. So if this category ever goes on sale and you're level 30 or higher, buy this if you ever plan on doing any epic projects in this category. All right, all these are... Uh, Temporary, or not temporary, limited time, uh, contest of mayors, and then all of these are hotspots. So the way these hotspots work is each map has a specific hotspot that it unlocks. As you boost the population in your regional map, it unlocks certain levels to these hotspots. You buy these hotspots with regional currency and then you upgrade them 
with regional coins. And what happens is when you click this little eye here, it shows you uh, what goes up each time you upgrade. So you can get this all the way up to a five pointer epic building. And you can have as many of these as you can purchase and you can upgrade them, you know, to the maximum upgrade to hit that 80% pop boost with a five pointer epic. Okay. So that's what those are. And it, it takes a lot of upgrades to get them there. So each one of these has a specific map that it belongs to. So when you hold down on it, it says, this is the limestone map. This one is the frosty map. Okay. You can place these on any map, but you unlock them from unlocking those maps. All right. Let's go to the transportation category. This one is pretty simple. Okay. All of these are a no. This is no, it's only a two pointer. The heliport is the, a three pointer. It's a 50% pop boost and it's only four squares. So it's excellent for boosting your population in this category and for an epic pointer um, building. It is 20 gold keys, so it's fairly cheap and it's just all around uh, your best option. Now, this one here is the Omega Tube Terminal. It is also a three pointer and it's also four. It's only 40% pop boost and it's 10 platinum keys. So I would go and spend double gold keys to have 10% more pop boost and to not have to spend those platinum keys. All right, these are contest mayor's buildings and then these are your hotspots. So that one is a pretty easy category. Now beach. Beach has several options. There's actually quite a few here. So all of these, this one here is a three pointer, the rowing center. We're gonna have to go to a map with some, some beach here. <clears throat> the rowing center is really, really large though. And it's expensive. So that it's not a good option. Now, if you have it because you've purchased it, fine. But when I say good option, I mean like what you would buy in bulk for the purpose of the Epic projects. So basically here's the thing. You're gonna buy certain buildings because you like the look of them, but then you're gonna buy buildings solely based on, you know, your Epic projects in general. So if you're talking for your Epic projects in general, like what you should buy in a mass quantity to ensure that you have enough pointers to do your Epic, that would not be ideal, okay? Now, going to the, back to the beach category here, this here is a two pointer, two, 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 three. This one here is a three. Now this one might be coming back around here real quick. It's limited time and it comes around during Valentine's day. So if it does come up, uh, Keep in mind that that is a three pointer for those of you who are low level, you, you may want to know that. Okay. Um, you have to buy certain things to be able to purchase certain things. So you have to buy the surfer beach to purchase this, but this thing's garbage anyways. The merman statue is a three pointer. Now it, it is a decent item, you know, for the fact that it's cool looking, but it's not ideal to buy in bulk, okay? It's, hang on, let's go back here. This one here is 20 gold keys with a three pointer, but the amount of space it takes up is kind of a deal breaker. Okay, this one is a one pointer. This one here is a three pointer, but again, it, uh, it takes up quite a bit of space in terms of the fact that it's only got a 20% a pop boost. Not that population is super important, but for those of you who it is important to, uh, yeah, that sucks. Okay, so this one here again, this is a three pointer. It's only a 30% pop boost. And if I remember right, it's like 30 gold keys or some shit, 22. Yeah, 32. Okay, so this is no, 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 no. Bad, bad, bad. Not a good eye, not a good item. Okay. This one here is a two pointer, so that's out. Now this one here is a very popular one to purchase. It's 30% pop boost, it's three points, 
and it's small. So a lot of people will line the whole front of their beach because they can fit all of, you know, they can fit a whole bunch of these and it's only 22 gold keys. So this is going to be one of the most popular to purchase. Uh, and then you've got the beach Delta. Now the beach Delta is a four pointer. So this is an excellent purchase, especially when you have a, um, a sale like black Friday or when the category goes on sale for 40% or 50% off. It's excellent because it's normally 120 keys. So if you can pick it up for 60, great. And by keys, I mean platinum keys. Okay. Uh, also, a lot of people will finish like their uh, the end to their river, for example, like this. You know, it, it looks good. Okay. So that one is super popular. Um, anytime that you can purchase the Beach Deltas on sale, absolutely. There is a cheaper option for this category for a four-pointer, though, I think. Let me double check just to be sure. I, I don't want to put my foot in my mouth just yet. Let me find it. It's supposed to be that lighthouse. Okay, no, it's only a three-pointer. Never mind. Cancel that. Okay. Um, let's see here. So this is two, three. Okay, so this one's a three-pointer, the Yacht Club, and it is 420 cash. Now, some people prefer buying items like this with cash because they, they spend real money. And it's easier for them to obtain Sims cash than it is for them to get keys. It just depends on what type of player you are and how much you uh, spend on the game. I don't recommend this at all. Um, I would go with this, absolutely. Okay, this one here is 12,000 Omega currency, and it's only a two-pointer, so new. Now, this here is a three-pointer, the Sailing Club. If I remember right, this thing, yeah, 38 keys. You could buy, you know, the Sailor Man's Pier for a much better deal. Okay, um, this here is only a two-pointer. This here is a three-pointer. It's 35% pop boost. And it's got 75 platinum keys as the price tag. So it the thing with this building here is it it sticks up really far. So like when you're designing or whatever, you almost always click on it. So I try to put it over to the right. Uh, I do like it, but it's not ideal to purchase for like a three-pointer. It's not worth it. Okay. Um, most of these, like limited time sea lions and, and fireflies and things like that are one pointers. Now there's also this one here, the Flying Dutchman. If you guys do have this, it was a limited time thing. That one's a three pointer. This one here is the Blue Ocean Stadium. Now I don't remember where this came from. I don't think I've ever placed it out. But it is a hot spot and it can be upgraded. So what you do is you click this here and it tells you what you need to do to upgrade it. So if you have a Latin American residential population of uh, 50,000 and you pay the 50 platinum keys, it'll go up to six epic points. Now, if you store it, it'll tell you uh, right here it can go up to six epic points. Okay, so four to six. Now, this here, there, there. Somebody had posted on the Facebook group that they had um, built. They they had to level up to build a bunch of Latin population because they only had met the requirements on their capital, and not their regional, and that they wanted to put the item on their regional map. And I'm like, why didn't you just put the building? on the capital map, upgrade it, and then place it on the regional. And this person, I'm pretty sure, broke their phone. So <laughs> um, if you're in that situation and you want to upgrade it and you meet the requirements on a, on a different map, upgrade it there and then store it and put it on the map that you desire. Don't upgrade a bunch of homes on a map that you don't need to upgrade on. Okay? So yeah, he was pretty upset because he had to level up and stuff and yeah. 
This is a limited time thing that we got recently around Christmas. It is a three pointer. It's actually kind of cute. Um, but yeah, that's if you got that, that's a three pointer. All right. So next category here, entertainment. Now, this category actually has several options. Most of them are pretty shitty in terms of the one and twos, but there's a few that are actually pretty decent. So the football stadium is going to be your best bet, okay? Uh, it's a four-pointer. It's 550 cash. So it it's a hefty price tag, but it's four points. It is quite large, though, so you're going to have to make room for it. Now, the next thing here is this is a three-pointer. It's a soccer stadium, and it's actually fairly cheap. So uh, the problem, the bigger problem that you're going to have with this here, this category here, is the size of the buildings. They are pretty large. Um, in terms of, like, what the best option was, or why I said it was the football stadium, is because it's a four-pointer. Now, for three-pointers, you have some, some other options. Let's go ahead and store a couple of these, and I'll show you guys. Okay, so, let's see. Entertainment. Football, that's four-pointer. Soccer is three, and it's 38 keys. I don't know why they don't show you the price. They should still show you the price. You shouldn't have to put these out. Okay, the uh, Ferris wheel here. This one is uh, one of the, the most popular. Now, the reason is because not only is it really a, a cool building, it's kind of universal. You can put it either way, and it still looks good. It's got 60% pop boost, which is pretty significant. It's worth three epic points. And I'm about to tell you how much it costs here in just a second, because I don't remember 100%. Okay, 28 gold keys. So that's super cheap for a three-pointer and a 60% pop boost. Now, the only annoying thing about this building is the, the shape. You know, it's not four squares. It's three tall and uh, three wide. So it's super annoying. Um, but it's it's your best three-pointer option in here, I think. And then you've got this one here, the Sumo Hall. That's at 50 gold keys, and it's actually quite large, so I'd say no. The Opera House is 60% pop boost with a three uh, epic pointer, and it's only eight platinum keys. Now, again, it's pretty large, and it does cost platinum keys, but it's definitely a halfway decent option. And then you've got, let's see, all these are twos. This is a three-pointer. This is one of uh, my favorites. Now, the reason why is because of it. It's um, the pop boost is 40%, but not just that. It's the the size of the building. It makes it very easy to place. It's actually a, a pretty cool looking building. And um, it's worth three epic points. If I remember right, it's like 300 and something cash or something like that. Yeah, 320. Okay, so like I said, when this stuff goes on sale, like if you ever get a half price um, entertainment, try to buy the football stadium. It It's worth it. Now, um, this one here is a three-pointer, 40% pop boost. These are one of my favorite buildings in the game is the Floating Lanterns. They look super cool when you uh, line your water with them, but they are three-pointer. And I think they were like 300 and something cash. They come back around, um, but they're not here full time. Okay, so the rest of these are hot spots right here. Um, let's see. Hold on just a second here. So this, from here, the luau party to the pet park is hotspots. Then you have these, the Countess bathhouse. This was uh, put out, I believe, I want to say right around season 12, I think. But this is a four-pointer, so excellent. Always make sure that this one's out. The Golden Goal Stadium, again, is another one of those hotspots that you can upgrade. But this one, if I remember right, it goes up to 12 epic points. 
Oh, no, that was on a double points weekend. Okay, so it goes up to six, and I believe it is uh, Latin Homes to, to boost it. Now, this one here is also a limited time thing. It was part of some Mayor's Pass thing. Okay, let's see. This is 30 uh, gold keys, and it requires Latin population. All right, so we've got the entertainment category taken care of. Let me get this done here. All right, let's go to gambling. Gambling is kind of like transportation. There's very few options here. These are all garbage, pretty much. Um, this one here is excellent to boost your population with, but not good for epics. It's a 60% pop boost, it's super cheap. So that's why I have so many of those. This here is a three pointer. It's uh, platinum keys though. And it wants 20 platinum keys. So that's really cheap. If you compare it to like what we've seen in the, the beach or the mountain category, uh, it's a 50% pop boost. So that's an absolute uh, win score, whatever you want to call it on there. Uh, this one here is a three pointer. This one's got an odd shape. It does look cool. Um, it's a 50% pop boost. And it's cash, if I remember right. Hang on. Oh, no, it's 20 platinum keys. Okay. So same price as this, uh, except for this one, you can fit two um, in the price. Well, like this one is um, three wide, two tall, and this one's two wide, two tall. This one here is 65% pop boost. So it's got the highest pop boost of these these few here. It's three points and this one is uh, 420 cash. So that's not a bad deal considering you can buy cash with uh, money and keys are a little harder to obtain. Now, all of these are hot spots. So again, you can upgrade those and uh, be done with it. And then now we're going into the last and no, 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 we still have to do mountain. Okay, so we'll do landmarks and we'll do mountain. All right, landmarks. This one has a ton of options, kind of like the uh, entertainment. But a lot of these options are, it, it comes down to like what you like the look of and the shape. So if you're somebody who's buying a lot of landmarks anyways, you do have quite a few options here. Uh, this one here is a three-pointer, the Empire State Building. Now, if I remember right, this one's like 40 gold keys or something. Okay, it's only 20. So 40% pop boost, 20 gold keys, kind of oddly shapen, but usually you have one or two on your map. Uh, this one here is the, the Statue of Liberty, 30 gold keys, three pointer, 60% pop boost. This, this one is pretty popular for pop boost, but it's expensive. It's 40 gold keys. So not a good option, really. Um, if you want to buy like one or whatever to have it on your map, like because you like the look of it, then I would do that. But in terms of like buying it in bulk, I wouldn't. This is also a three pointer, 60 uh, boost and 60 gold keys. Not a good option in terms of buying in bulk. Uh, but if you like the, the castle, you're going to have to have 10 Tokyo homes placed on your map in order to purchase it. This here is the Eiffel Tower. I have this at the front of my map. Um, 40 gold keys, three pointer, 40% pop boost. I wouldn't, again, recommend buying in bulk because it's quite large and expensive. This here is a three pointer. Now this one is actually halfway decent. It's got a decent pop boost. Shape's kind of weird, but um, if I remember right, it's fairly cheap. 10 platinum keys. So it's definitely uh, beneficial. This here is also one of my uh, popular ones that I buy. It's 60% pop boost and it's three pointer. It's four square, you know, four squares. Um, it's just excellent. Use it to boost your pop, use it to do epics. Um, if I remember right, it's only like 20 platinum keys. Now, this one is a 70% pop boost three-pointer, but it's 
obviously quite large and it's only but it's only 20 platinum keys so if you did put a couple of these on your map for display i mean just between these three buildings here uh you can get quite a few pointers that way this one here is also a three pointer this one's an 80 percent pop boost okay so the square isn't too big but it's actually not too small either um if i remember right this one is like 75 platinum 50 platinum keys so it's actually not bad considering it's an 80 percent pop boost uh if you're going for pop boost now this here is the maxis man statue it is a three-pointer now how you obtain this is you max out your vu tower so once you reach the maximum upgrade of your vu tower you will unlock him but if you're not level 30 and you don't have landmarks unlocked you won't be able to access him until you hit level 30. Omega Tower, 85% pop boost with four points, okay? 60 platinum keys. So if you see a sale come around, or even if you don't, 60 platinum keys for a four-pointer, excellent price. Uh, absolutely, if, if you plan to do a lot of landmark um, epic projects, then that would definitely be something you would want to purchase. All right, these are uh, Contest of Mayor's buildings here. And then these used to be in the worship category, but they took that out and they put them here. These are all three pointers and each one of them is 40 platinum keys or 40 gold keys with a 40% pop boost. So yeah, I don't recommend them um, in terms of buying in bulk. But as you see here, you have quite a few options in for your three pointers. Okay, let's go to the final category, which is the mountain category. Mountain category is by far my favorite category. It's it looks really cool. The homes are the the gothic style homes that you see on my my uh, capital map all the time, and they're the only category that's really short in terms of epic projects. Okay, so the mountain category is only available on the capital map and the frosty map. No other map has mountain on it. Now, when you uh, Go to, the, let's see, the mountain category here. This here is a three-pointer. This is a city sign, and it puts the name of your city on the wall of your mountain. So whatever your city name is, it's going to put it there. Okay? All right. This is a one-pointer. One, one, one. This is a three-pointer. 15 gold keys, so excellent price. Um, not a bad... Uh, size this here is a three pointer as well the paragliding thing but if i remember right it's kind of expensive yeah 250 cash not too bad i guess um this is wait that's not the right one hold on is it yeah no okay hold on hold on this is three epic points it's 25 gold keys so not too bad of a price, but you're not going to buy it because there's way better options. The ski resort, 30 gold keys, 30, uh, or 30 gold keys, three epic points, 50% pop boost. So it's actually quite large. Uh, I would advise against buying this one. This one here is one of the most popular for like hackers or for people that spend a lot of money. So 280 cash, especially if you get it like when it's on sale, this building is super tiny in terms of like how much it takes on your map and it's three points. So people will line the whole back wall. It's an excellent uh, option for three pointer. This here is one of the most popular to buy the observatory here. And that is because it is 14 gold keys. So this is going to be the cheapest three-pointer option available in the mountain category. Now this one uh, next to it is 25 gold keys for three-pointer. Same size, so no. Um, or red, I think it's the same size. Well, maybe that one's a little bigger. Okay, uh, these two, these two castles here are both uh, three-pointers. They're quite expensive and they're quite large. So I would advise against buying these. Um, I would go with either all observatories or um, that one for cash that I just showed you that was super tiny. But usually 
when you're going for three pointers, you go with the observatory. All right. This one here is a two pointer. Now these here, these two waterfalls, these are super popular purchases. They're just super expensive. If you save up your platinum keys, wait for a sale and buy these in bulk. So what CPT did was he purchased all three pointers, uh, when, or no, he didn't. He purchased all four pointers when the Black Friday sale came. He was able to get all of these for 60 platinum keys, which was awesome. It's a 60% pop boost and it's worth four epic points. Now that's going to make a huge difference in how many times you donate to your epic projects. So it's going to make a huge difference in the, the price of your epics. All right, stone face wall here, 90 platinum keys for a three pointer. This is a good purchase in terms of like designing, you know, uh, because it's it looks cool, but it's not something you would buy in bulk. If you were going to buy in bulk, you would probably go with the four pointer. OK, um, this one here is 600 cash, three. Three uh, epic points. It does look kind of cool. I have it on my map, actually. I think it's over here. Yeah, it's right there. So it, it, it does look cool, um, but it's it's quite large. This one and this one are two pointers and this is a one pointer. So that concludes the mountain category. So you're gonna go with the observatory. Um, yeah, so I mean, you guys, that pretty much wraps up what I had to teach you guys about epics. Now, the final thing that I wanted to tell you guys about was how many token pieces it takes to complete one speed token. Now, from day one, since I've ever done an epic, every time it's been 20 gold pieces for me to hit a full gold token. But I've had people say that it's 11, it's 10, it's nine, it's eight, it's whatever. Um, I contacted EA in hopes that they would be able to give me a, a straight answer. And I got a couple different answers, but one of the answers said that every 250 token pieces that you collect, the cost goes up by one and it maxes out at 20 for gold. And I'm like, but I've had it cost me 20 since day one. So that doesn't make any sense. Um, so honestly, it's kind of a hit and miss as to how much it costs, but it should never cost you more than 20 for gold. And I think it's five for bronze and 10 for silver. I haven't counted the bronze and silver since they did the latest update when they, uh, they increased the amount of epic points that you needed to have to complete the epics. It used to only be 100 points. Now it's 200. So um, yeah, make sure that the, oh, here's another tip, you guys. Let's say that you have a, uh, let's say you start an epic project on accident. As long as you do not reach bronze, you will not be uh, basically penalized for it. Like the house is not going to convert to anything and it's not going to bulldoze. It's not going to do anything to it. So a lot of people like what they do for the contest, if they have something, let's say that uh, they have an assignment for 30 epic points, they'll do it and then they'll leave the, um, the epic alone and the timer runs out and then it goes back to a normal home because they didn't reach bronze. But if you did reach bronze, you need to finish your epic. Now, why would somebody do that? Why wouldn't they just finish? Well, maybe they, they weren't prepared. Maybe they don't have the coins or the inventory to finish. So they decided that it would be best uh, to just not hit bronze and let the timer run out. A lot of people do this if they've started on accident. So don't worry. It will go back to normal. Okay. All right. Uh, anything else when it comes to epic projects, how to prep, how much it's going to cost, uh, what's the best method, how all that works, click on my channel, click playlist, go to the epic projects playlist. And I'm telling you guys, you will be epic pros. I, that, so one thing I have, I know I've mastered in this game is epic projects. They are so important to your gameplay and your success. I cannot voice that enough. So if, if you think you don't need epics, think again, because they're going to make a huge difference in your gameplay. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded. And like I said, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, comment below, anything to kind of bump up the monetization and get the channel seen more. Um, and that way it can grow more.
All right, you guys, I will see you guys probably on a live stream here in a few minutes.